Welcome back, Master Jedi Skywalker here, and I wanted to do a quick run through on Bounty Hunter the Beast for Phase 3 of the Heroic Sith Raid. It's kind of annoying, you have to restart a bunch of times normally, and I thought I would give kind of a real account of how I actually go about doing this and how to speed up the process. There's plenty of videos out there, you want to set your speed accordingly. And I already have this team set for speed, so it's pretty easy to just run this whenever I need to in phase three of the heroic Sith raid. So I'm going to go into it right now. And again, I just wanted to show there's plenty of really good videos out there that will show you how this process is done. But there can be a lot of restarts and they don't really talk about that on an actual how long it takes. So... First of all, we always want to make sure we know what lightsaber goes first. If this lightsaber has foresight, just go ahead and restart. But he doesn't, so we do damage to him. Oh, so right off the bat, we saw that Boba Fett got hit with a turn meter reduction. I wasn't paying attention, but that's not going to work. It messes up the turn order, and we have to make sure everyone goes properly. So let's start this up again. This is what, number two? We'll, we'll try to keep count here. All right, the lightsaber with foresight went first, so this isn't gonna work. Retreat. This is number three. Now once we, generally you can down the lightsaber and get the combo going pretty easily. Uh, it normally doesn't take this many turns to do that, but uh, I think this is the lightsaber that went first. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I don't know how Chewie hit through the foresight. Interesting. Maybe I just learned something. Anyway, so Chewie went, then Boba Fett went. So that's perfect. We downed the lightsaber, which we need for the death mark. If Greedo gets hit with this isolation, then you have to restart. But since he didn't get hit with it, Pow is up next. And we're going to do the combo. So once Greedo comes up, we're gonna. I found the magic number is 20. So we're gonna face off and we're gonna count these off. One, what, two, three. This is a horrible start. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Death Mark went off. So that was a really horrible run. We're gonna restart it. Again, the magic number that you want to look for is 20. And I found 20 will do at least 3.5 million damage. Um, I kind of would like 24 normally, and that gets you over 4 million. So I think this is restart number 4. All right. So sometimes if Chewie doesn't crit, Boba Fett won't take this out, which he didn't. And that means we need to restart. So now we're on restart number five. Hopefully this video doesn't go too long. But I think the general gist, okay, uh, foresight on the first lightsaber. We're gonna test this out with Chewie. Oh, well, heck, I just learned something. <laughs> Apparently Chewie's special goes through foresight and Boba Fett didn't attack twice, so he didn't kill it. I believe we're on six now. So that actually, if Boba Fett didn't, was an ability blocked, he could have executed it even with foresight and he would have took it out, which would have been fine. I think this is six. I think we already said that. There we go. Perfect example. All right, Boba Fett got the isolate perfect, but Death Trooper just lost all of his turn meter. So we're going to have to restart. This is number seven, I believe. I'm probably going to lose track of counting <laughs> several times here. But I'm kind of curious to see how long this video is because then I can see how long I, I take to get this done. We've actually had some bad RNG. Generally, it's a lot better. And you get to the Greedo counterattacks uh, a lot more frequently. We've only had, what, one of them? And we're on fight eight. So here we go. Fight eight. 
the good thing is once you get the combo off and he gets the counter attacks, you're just going to kind of do as much damage as you can. No crit. Oh, Boba Fett got a crit, so that was perfect. All right. And we're going to get a Greedo stand alone. All right, one. Two, three, four, five. This is horrible. Six, seven, eight, nine, and death mark is off. That was really bad. Normally it's better than that. Let's go on to battle nine here and see if we can't get another Greedo counterattack going. But I wanted to make this video to show that it's not a matter of just having the team ready to go. It does take some time sometimes to actually get this to work. It's kind of frustrating. But when it does go off, it's pretty quick and pretty easy. So Greedo got isolated. We have to restart. This is the real down and dirty Bounty Hunter and the Beast team setup. It, uh, it, it can take a, quite a few tries sometimes. I feel like we've gotten some bad RNG, though. It's helpful to hit through the foresight, though. That's definitely for sure. This is battle number 10, I believe. All right, we're doing... Oh, uh, Pow, po Pow got isolated, so his offense up couldn't be given to everyone. Let's go on to battle number 11. All right, Treya. Let's try this again. All right. Looking good. Oh, Greedo just got isolated. Let's move on. Battle number 12. I should have paid attention to what time I started. This is going to end up being a long video. But again, the purpose of this video is so that people can actually see what it takes to get this team working and operational. Even with the speed and everything right, and this is my first attack on phase three. That's another good pointer. You definitely want the first attack uh, to go because then all the turn meter is hard locked in there and your combo can go off. I don't know what happened here. Uh, I think Greedo got his turn meter removed. So we're starting again. This is battle number 13. Normally it doesn't take me this long. I feel like maybe because I'm re recording the video, I'm getting some bad RNG here. I'm not paying attention. I think that was the correct lightsaber. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh so Greedo just got his turn meter removed. Let's move on to 14. So again, if you have any questions about the combo and how it's done, there's other people that have made better videos. There's, I didn't want to go remake a video and explain the mods and the speed and everything else. Pretty much you just want to ramp up everyone with offense and then have the correct speed settings on everyone. All right. I think we're going to get a chance here. Stand alone. And let's count them. We're looking for 20 or more. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Good. Seven. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come on. Twelve. And death marks off. Man, this is this is really, really bad RNG right here. Alright, let's try it again. This is number 15. I bet we've been doing this for at least 10 minutes already. Greeter got staggered. So I think when Trey does her AOE thing, it's going to break the combo. Oh, he got isolated anyway. 
I may have lost count. I think we're on 15. I think we just did 15, so 16. Lucky number 16, maybe. And I think Pal lost his turn meter. Yeah. Time to restart. Go on to number 17. All right. Maybe it's lucky number 17. It's a good number. Okay, looking good. Offense up, death mark, and standalone. Lucky number 17. Here we go. Let's count them off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here we go. Twelve. Ha, ah, we needed that one. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Death marks off 17, 18, 19. And now they're going to attack the Sabres. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. All right, so Death Mark went off, but he was still doing serious damage from standalone. And he just got wiped out. You know, I, I think this is a good enough, I, I think this is a good enough uh, run that I'm just going to keep it here. Now we're just going to try to put out as much damage as we can. And we down the lightsabers and just do damage, basically. All right, there we go. So this should be pretty quick. We're going to see what we can end at here. Ideally, you could get another death mark off and try to do some damage with one more down Treya, but my guys are going to go down pretty quick here. Chewie's dazed, which sucks. All right. Well, let's do everyone. I was hoping to get Boba Fett back, but that didn't happen. And this is spiraling out of control here. <laughs> And she was down. All right, well, let's see what kind of damage we got. I'm guessing around 38 or 3.8 million. Maybe more. 3.6 million. So it took, what, how many 17 tries we were on? 18 tries, something like that. And did 3.7 million. It's not too bad. Uh, so I do try to get more than that generally, but we definitely had some bad RNG to start out with. Anyway, that's the team. That's kind of how I run it. And that's just a real account of what it takes to do Bounty and the Beast. I hope it helped. Uh, the, you know, I know my guild has asked me about this, so I kind of wanted to make a video and show them. But uh, it's Christmas Eve, and I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas Eve and a Happy Holidays. And as always, may the Force be with you.